Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this cantilever truss by method of sections. We have to find this angle. Let us keep this angle as theta. Let us take this triangle. In this triangle, let us use tan theta formula. We know that tan theta is opposite side by adjacent side. So 3 upon 4. In this way for theta, we will get 36.87. If this angle is 36.87, this angle, this angle and this angle will be 36.87 because of the similar dimensions. Now I am going to make the first section like this and I have to take the right side part and do the analysis. Let us take moment about E. Let us keep clockwise as positive and anticlockwise as negative. When we take moment about E, we should not consider FAE. The remaining forces are FAB and 10. 10 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 4. FAB is acting in the clockwise direction so it is also positive and the distance is 3. For FAB, we will get a negative value, that means it is compressive. Now let us apply the rule sigma V is equal to 0. 10 is acting downwards, so it will be negative. FAE is inclined, we have to make it vertical. To make it vertical, we need this angle, that is 90 minus 36.87. It will be 53.13. FAE is acting upwards. So that it will be positive and we have to multiply with the cos 53.13. For FAE, we will get a positive value that means it is tensile. Now let us make the second section like this and let us take this part and do the analysis. First let us apply sigma V is equal to 0. FBE is acting upwards so it will be positive. 10 is acting downwards so it will be negative. For FBE, we will get a positive value, that means it is tensile. Now let us apply sigma h is equal to 0. FBC is acting towards the left side, so that will be negative. FAB is acting towards the right side, so it will be positive. We know the value of FAB, 13.33 and it is compressive. Since it is compressive, we have to apply as negative. For FBC, we will get a negative value, that means it is compressive. Now let us make the third section like this and we have to take the right side part and do the analysis. Let us take moment about C. When we take moment about C, we should not consider FBC, FCE. The remaining forces are 10, 10, 10 and FDE. About the point C, 10 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 8. This 10 is acting in the clockwise direction so it is positive and the distance is 4. This 10 is also acting in the clockwise direction so it is also positive and the distance is 3. About the point C, FDE is not perpendicular, it is inclined. We can resolve FDE with respect to EC. To make FDE perpendicular to EC, we have to keep it horizontal. To make it horizontal, we need 36.87 degree. About the point C, FDE is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 6 and we have to multiply with the cos 36.87. For FDE, we will get a positive value, that means it is tensile. Now let us take a moment about A. When we take moment about A, we should not consider 10, FBC and FDE. The remaining forces are this 10, this 10 and FCE. This 10 is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 3. This 10 is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4. FCE is not perpendicular to A. 
we can resolve FCE with respect to CA to make FCE perpendicular to CA we have to keep it in the vertical direction to keep it in the vertical direction we need 53.13 degree now about the point A FCE is acting in the anti-clockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 8 and we have to multiply with the cos 53.13 for FCE we will get a negative value that means it is compressive here I have tabulated all of the member forces now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video